We saw quite a few deer, which was good. We saw two massive stags just uh, down uh, the, the, the ridge from from the track. So, we'll, um, yeah. So, so, so we'll hopefully see those at some stage. And yeah, and the, the, the weather's gone a bit overcast, but let's just hope it doesn't rain. And we'll see what our plan is for this afternoon. There's a stag there. It's got a couple of spikes, which is good. So, yeah, and it's not huge, which is good. So, because we've still got to take it way up there, so that's good. 
But yeah, no, the, the, the uh, shot was good too because I got it pretty much where I aimed. So, yeah. I mean, it. so we'll take the guts out and come back and get it tomorrow. Churchill, I've just made it back to the hut and Jack is slicing up the hut to chuck in the pan. So it should, should be made and then we've got some home kill meat patties there, so... That will be me and ass too, so yeah. So we had a real good successful day. Had a mean hunt with uh, the bows and stuff. Got real close to lots of deer. Saw lots of deer, so yeah. So feeling quite good for t tomorrow. So we'll smash back a mean feed and then, yeah. See what happens tomorrow. Morning guys, um, we just got up and it's raining a little bit so we're just going to have a quick hot drink and then hopefully it'll stop and we'll get out to have a look at those big stags we saw um, up there last night. Yeah, yeah. manage. Um, so we've, we've uh, just grabbed our packs and chucked our boots on and <laughs> we're all set to go. So um, we'll just sneak up this hill here. The, the uh, rain's just coming now, so, um, so but uh, hopefully it doesn't hang around for too long. So, yeah. so, so we'll just sneak, sneak up here and try to look for some deer. Yeah, mean. Good shot. Let the arrow go, we'll just wait up. Alright, so we just came sneaking down this gully. We knew there are a few goats sheltered in these trees from the rain. And um, we just got up um, just behind a little bank. And there was a goat at 10 yards, which is what my first bin is at. So it was a perfect, nice, good shot. And that's my first goat with the bow, so I'm stoked. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, it was a mean ass hunt. And uh, there's, there's uh, quite a few deer across the gorge too. So we might go back and try to whack one of those too. Yeah. So yeah. See what happened. The goats are just over here still I think. So I might go up and see Dad and then see if we can get in from a different angle and maybe try and get another. Sweet. Solid shot. Yeah, got just behind the shoulder. Not on that end, pretty much. Yeah. Mean. Yeah. Good start for my new bow. Yeah. So, so what's the plan now, Jack? Um, few deer over the gully. So I think either Dad's gonna have a go at them with the bow, or have a go at a big belly that was in this mob, maybe. So yeah, we'll keep you updated. Yeah, me. And, um... So once Jack um shot that goat, we we crept round a bit more, and there was a um another mob of goats just just round here, and um you'll see from what I filmed that there was a massive big white um belly goat which was 
like real, real cool to see. Um, and then Bruce had the shot at a good go. That was a good shot, um, but it ended up way down in the gorge, so we just grabbed the um, arrow and left it there. But yeah, um, and while we were sneak, sneaking around the face there, it was about four big uh, stags, well four, not big stags, but four stags on the other side of the gorge. And I filmed, filmed those as well, so you'll uh, see those and there was a quite a decent stag with them, so yeah, it was real good to see, but now we'll just um, head back to the hut, have some bacon and eggs, and then see where our plan is from there. So yeah. Right guys, so we got back to the hut and had some lunch and then went and grabbed the deer and we brought it down here to the killing house and we'll just hang it here until tomorrow when uh, we go home, so yeah. And uh, now we'll uh, just do a few job, jobs around here and then with up to Lake Road, uh, my um, family farm and there's um, some uh, big um, stags there, so we'll go up and try film them, so... Yeah, see what happens. Shame is in the front seat, trouble with the curb. Love is in the back seat, singing like a bird. Oh no, take me to the. I've just come up from the hut for a glass, and the sun's finally come out so it's nice and hot which is good so we are drying out some gear at home and um, Bruce has just seen some deer come out to, to get some sun so I'm sure that there'll be lots of deer come coming out around the place to get some sun so we'll keep having a bit of a glass and see what we can see Right, um, fellas, we're just creeping down from the hut now, and we saw um, two hinds and a spiker down in this gut um, th that I filmed before. So Bruce has his gun and his, um, I mean his bow, and we're we're going to have a um, crack at those with the bow. And Jack's got my rifle, so so if all house fails and it's just before dark, then. We might be able to whack it here with the rifle, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright, so we just spotted a couple of deer over there on that slip. Just gotten within about oh within about 20 yards of some deer, and as you can see, a big thunderstorm rolled in, and we've probably got a good hour back to the hut, so it should be a wet trip back. Might even pass. Yeah. Looking a bit dry here over here. Pretty wet out there, so yeah, should be. Right, a much point going after the deer anymore. The way they bolted, so they must have smelled this. Yeah.
some dinner um we've had a mean day seen heaps of deer over there this evening and then there were some um stags wandering over um about a couple of hundred yards from the hut and yeah they saw us and ran away but if they didn't they might have walked right into the hut but um yeah anyway that's us for the day and we'll see you in the morning hey Morning guys, we've just loaded up and come over here for a glass and there's quite a few deer around. There's some way up there and a couple in there and then Bruce saw a real big stag just down in here somewhere so we'll, we'll keep have, having a good glass and make a plan. Good shot. Alright, so um I just shot a yearling hind down here. Um just like I think it was only 130 meters away, so pretty close. Now we're just gonna go get it and put it under a tree. And um, Dad just gone to see if he can get a deer over the top. So yeah, pretty good. Choice. Yeah. Hi guys. So we've um just just come to the end of our um trip. Yeah. Right. Um, Dad got a deer after we got my one too. So that was good. So I've got three deer for the trip. So quite a bit of venison. Yeah. So. Yeah, Christmas. he heaps of meat. It was a real good trip. We saw a lot, saw saw lots of deer and got lots of good vid videos with the um camera and stuff. So yeah, it was good. Yeah, mean. So thanks very much for 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 watching, and we'll try try and make some more good yeah. videos. Yeah, get a good video on the roll. Yep. Something. Yep. All right.